So there's our first angle, which might be 30 or 40 pounds, right? So we're hitch feeding the whole thing right now. Now it's totally um, ready to cut, first like to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and make a manual cut. And then when I'm done, I'll press the second switch to continue. So when I get done cutting, you saw how it fell down like that? Mm -hmm. That means that this clamp probably won't be tight enough. Okay. Because it actually allowed it to swivel down, mm -hmm. which it shouldn't have done. But that's just a slight adjustment of the uh, clamp dial here. Right? So this is the clamp die. This is the wipe roller. Wipe roller clamp die. Right? This is the spindle with the collet in it. And this is the bend die. Sometimes people refer to it as the bend roller and bend shoe. Right? Right? But this is the part we just made with no spring die compensation. And you can see this is the first bend, and this is the second bend, the third, which corresponds to the 45, 30, and 90 degree bends right here. Yeah. And you can see our first L was two inches, right? Our first L was two inches up there on the uh, sheet right there. So if I were to take a, uh, a measuring stick here, and we were looking to see how close that was, we can see we're quite a bit off on this first L. Mm. I think that was the first L right there, yeah. I think we were, let's see. No, actually, we're pretty close. Because it's based off the center line, right? Well, well it's, um, just look, take your eye down there and um, take two inches and run it down the cable. That could be where Ben Tangent is between the straight and the start of that bend, right? So we're in the infield right there. So that's pretty good. The next L was 